today on Pearl's Fun World. We're going to be building an underwater sea castle. And I have a big announcement at the end regarding a new series that I'm going to start. All this and more on today's episode of Pearl's Fun World. Hey everybody, it's Pearl and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be building a new home for Ariel, Sebastian, and Flounder. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. So fun. Okay. First, we're going to be building the entryway and main part of the castle. Doesn't this look like a welcoming place to live? Oh, it looks great. That's awesome. Right now, we're going to be building a bench and a little lamp and Ariel's vanity area. I love the design of this little castle. I love the, the lamp and all of the details. It's very, very cute. We're building her little sitting area, and this is going to be a really great spot for her and her friends to hang out before they go to a big ball or a big gala at the castle. So there we go, and voila! It looks great. Ariel, you sit there. And the design of this castle has lots of archways and little windows and all sorts of things for Ariel to peek through and poke through and climb through. Okay, so now we're going to be working on Ariel's vanity area. So these are a couple little potions she has ready to go. I'm sure that they are uh, some kind of special royal lotion or something. I don't know. <laughs> this is her vanity. It has a little mirror. It has two little spots that you can hold a comb or brush, all sorts of little things. Now I did put one little piece, um, that little beige piece uh, that holds the little light. It's actually in sideways. I do go back and fix it later. I didn't think that it could flip around the other way. So I left it, but then I went back and fixed it later. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the gardens and pathway area in the front of the castle. This is where all of the royals plant their beautiful gardens. What kind of plants do you think they plant? I see seaweed and there's like little pink flowers and little stars. I wonder what those are. And here's their path so they can get into the castle. These are little seaweed gates that open and close. And what I'm building right now is a little light to go on the outside to let people know where the castle is. All right, next we're going to build Ariel's bedroom. Now, Ariel's bedroom has some pretty cool features in it. Hey guys, you want to take a peek? Sure! Okay, so it's got the same see-through walls as the front of the castle with the pillars. This is her bed that we're making right now. Her bed actually fits into a clamshell, which is adorable and it's gold so very royal and it pops right in here and it does pivot a little bit there we go all right the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to build Ariel a little light for her bedroom. It goes right on this nightstand right beside her bed. There's the little bulb and then the top. Perfect. There's her wall and it's got a little window inside. And I put that little beige piece in sideways again. I did go back and fix it. But please forgive me until I go back. It is not going to be fixed for a little bit but it does get things before the end of the video. <laughs> it drove me crazy. <laughs> Next, we are going to build something super secret. Do you know what it is? It has a red ball on the end, and it's got a stick, and it's got a little doohickey mechanism. Hmm. Next, we're going to make a garden in front of Ariel's bedroom. So, we've got little seaweed and little plant life all ready to grow and be beautiful in front of Ariel's bedroom. Next, we're going to attach these two pieces using these green pieces. There we go, and we have another big blue piece to put in. And this is 
is actually going to be Ariel and Alana's patio area. I forgot to mention, Alana also comes with the set. Um, Alana is the pink sister in the movie, so she'll be making her grand appearance very shortly. This castle is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite toys. It is so adorable. There's the little stools for their patio. There's their tabletop. There's our goblet. Ariel, we have to get back to your father. He's looking for us. Don't worry about him, Sebastian. I'll take care of him. Ariel! Okay, so Flanders gonna have a little nap there in Ariel's bed. Next, we're gonna work on the pathway between these two areas of this very special castle. And um, it actually is like a little outdoor kitchen. It has a little cake and a little uh, drink and another goblet. The cake doesn't really wanna stay on, so I think I'm going to move it to the table. Because it will stay. Next, we're going to work on the tops of these wonderful rooms in this castle. We're going to reinforce the walls so that they don't come apart from the front of the building, and we're going to attach ceilings to them so they are strong and sturdy, and you can move the whole castle, actually, at the end of this without breaking it, if you're careful. There we go, and that is actually a secret door. So she's got a pretty sweet bedroom. Secret door, bed in the clamshell, I love it. Okay, so here is a 360 degree viewing of the castle. Ta-da! So here we are building on top of the sitting room. And here's a little canopy. Okay. Build on top of the archway. Can you guess what we're building? It's very important. Hmm. What would Ariel use a big clamshell for? This castle is looking pretty royal right now. I'm so, so pleased with with the progress so far. It looks really good. Okay, so next we're going to build some more little details in these little archways going up. Right now they look like stairs, but they won't look like stairs for very long. We're gonna put some more details on top of the castle. There we go. On the back of the castle, at the top, we just put on those two little green things and the little white bricks. Okay, we're gonna continue to add some detail along those uh, archways that we just put on and some gold decorations and pink. And now, who knows what we're building next? It's exciting! Next, we get to attach the slide. This is so cool. This is actually part of the reason why I bought the set because I thought this slide was pretty amazing. So, pretty excited to install this. This is what the close to finished product looks like. We're gonna work on Ariel's balcony over her bedroom. There's some seaweed and some guardrails. Does Ariel need guardrails? Is she going to fall? She can swim. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, either way, it looks beautiful. And add some little hearts.
So um, we're going to now be working on a special area for Sebastian. Shh, it's a secret. It's going to be a music area where he can sing and conduct his music and play his piano. He's gonna love it. <laughs> okay, so there's this little music stand and piano. There's this little microphone, so sweet. And we're going to put him there. There you go, Sebastian. He's pretty excited about it. <laughs> there is King Triton's trident. This castle is looking pretty sweet. It's got a balcony, a big slide, a trap door, a vanity area, cake, a patio. It's got everything. Oh, and a piano. Don't forget the piano. I really like this set. I think that it comes with some pretty cool characters. Uh, my favorite character in the set is Ariel. What's your favorite character? And I'm also building right now, I'm building uh, Sebastian's little clamshell stand so that he can stand over everybody and conduct the music, conduct all the fishies. We're going to add some architectural details and we're done. Look at that, guys. Ta-da! And there is Ariel sitting in her little clamshell chair, and Sebastian above her. I'm not sure where Flounder got to. Did you see where Flounder is? Hmm, is he still sleeping in Ariel's bed? <laughs> and there is Ariel's grotto. It was very easy to assemble, so I didn't take a video of it. And there's Alana in the front. Um, it came with an extra hair piece, so you can change out her hair if you wanted her to be blonde. Uh, but her regular hair is black. The hair pieces come with little tiny holes so that you can put things like crowns and bows and flowers so that uh, you can kind of decorate the girls. Come with a whole bunch of little accessories. So I'm going to show you how to put them in. There's a little bow on Alana. Very sweet, very cute. There she is with a heart. The different hair has different holes where the uh, crowns and flowers and things can go. So different sides and some have the crown, and, you know, all different ones. So there we go, Ariel having a little bow and her crown. Now a little flower in her crown. All right. Also, uh, the dolphin. You can make the dolphin wear a crown because dolphins have the hole in the top of the head. <laughs> so that's really cute. There we go. And all of Ariel's little accessories fit into her grotto. And you can close the seaweed so that it's all tight and locked up and nobody knows what's inside. There we go. Sit you there, dolphin. All right, so this is the castle. I can't get that little piece to close and I'm not sure what's going on, but it's okay. <laughs> Love, bye for now. So that was how we built 
Ariel's Castle. And it was a fun build. Thank you so much for stopping by and building it with me. If you liked this video, please leave me a big thumbs up and a comment and tell me if you've built something similar to this before. Um, also, if you're new here, please subscribe. Uh, we'd love to have new friends around here. If you've stuck around this far, you deserve your announcement. My announcement is that I'm going to be starting a series using these builds that I'm going to be filming, and it's going to be called Beach City Saga, and it's going to follow the lives of princesses living on the beach in their castles. So, you're gonna wanna stick around for that. Anyways, guys, that's my announcement. That was my build. I hope you had fun today. I had so much fun with you guys. Thank you so, so much for stopping by, and remember, you're always welcome here. Goodbye, everybody.